about seven years ago, I was diagnosed with breast cancer and that led me to come to Miami Cancer Institute. I didn't expect to be diagnosed so early. I didn't even expect to be diagnosed at all because I didn't fit that mold or that statistic that people often think breast cancer looks like. In her culture, which is the Haitian culture, it was not discussed. Do not discuss that you were diagnosed with cancer. But Tamara did the opposite, and instead she became an advocate. You know, I went through my own internal journey before I felt strong enough to talk about it to others, before I felt strong enough to write a book about it to help others. I think it's important to change the narrative. So I had to sit the girls down to show them that mommy was losing her hair. And I took that opportunity to not only tell them that hair doesn't define a woman or define anyone, but that the title of the book mommy was writing was going to be called Hair to the Queen because it's important that they didn't associate beauty and royalty with hair. In reality, if you share that it exists, then you can actually protect your family and the future generations because then we can screen differently and we can potentially test differently. My treatment was very aggressive, but I was also diagnosed early. And so because of that and all of what MCI offers, I'm able to be here and I'm able to to be with my daughters for a, a really long time. Miami Cancer Institute has so much to offer patients. We approach every patient as an individual, but we also look at the patient as a whole. You have specialist radiologists, you have a medical oncologist and radiation oncologist, all specialized in your type of cancer that meet and discuss your particular diagnosis to make sure that the treatment plan is most appropriate for you specifically. Dr. Karkis is more than a doctor. I think she is a friend and I think she is a partner in the process, in the journey. We know that fundraising events like Bounce Back from Cancer are really important because they do raise the money that is necessary to ensure that all of these different populations of patients have access to places like the Miami Cancer Institute where clinical trials are a foundation of what we do. It's a way that we move forward medicine and progress and cure. I think people should participate and bounce back because it's another opportunity to raise awareness about early detection, to raise awareness about Miami Cancer Institute and all of the phenomenal work that they do. Tamara has curable disease. And really we anticipate that Tamara's breast cancer will never return, that she is cured. By telling my story, I wanted to offer hope. I wanted to offer hope to young people, to black women, to Haitian women, to mothers, to young mothers, to anybody really that thinks that a cancer diagnosis is a death sentence because it isn't. I'm celebrating seven years of being cancer free. I really feel super happy, super grateful. Join us on March 13th as we bounce back to find a cure.